Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you a thrifted haul, a collective thrifted haul. I've been collecting stuff over the past couple of weeks and I wanted to share that with you. I'm gonna take you along to some of my favorite thrift stores. Goodwill is not included in this. I have not gone to Goodwill in a while. Um, I just can't beat these other thrift store prices. Every time I go to Goodwill, it seems like they bumped up their prices so much and I feel like I can find similar items at these thrift stores for way less. So if you're interested in going thrifting with me, then keep watching. I will have a haul at the end. So let's go. Okay, so at this thrift store, this is my, one of my, I don't remember which trip it was, but the, this is the Idaho Youth Ranch. Those saucers and um, teacups are just so beautiful. This was actually in the Ruby's um, Boutique, which is their antique area. And look at this chandelier. It was gorgeous. I just don't know what I'd do with it. It's so pretty and I always wanted one, but I just didn't know. $3 for that saucer. It's gorgeous. I believe, um, I can't remember which color was on sale this time, but these bookends were so heavy, so beautiful. I wish they weren't so expensive. And oh, I found a mirror and I, I want to get a mirror so bad, but it uh, just wasn't my color. Um, I love finding doilies. Those are so hard to find. And when you do find them, they're expensive. Um, I This was my favorite spot and I think I'll go back, but I loved these teacups. They were, um, I want to say five bucks. Yeah, five bucks each. And thinking back, I'm like, I should have just grabbed them. They're so pretty. But I think I'm waiting for them to go on sale um, so that I can get them like half off. But look at those ones are so pretty. There's a transfer wear one. The yellow ones with flowers are my favorite. I thought this was such a cute brass little trinket, but $7. No thanks. I can wait. Um, this was really pretty. I'm really loving these ornate pewter picture frames. I think that was like seven bucks. Um, this was gorgeous, but the prices here, some of the stuff was just so expensive. Like I've gotten this for $3. Um, I thought this was pretty cool. I think it was $9. This terrain was pretty cool as well. It was a stoner one and that was like 11 bucks. So yeah, a lot of stuff was just expensive here. That was super cute. And this creamer was so cute, but $3. I don't know. I love paying a dollar for creamers and sugar bowls. I can get them at my other thrift stores for really cheap. I thought these were really pretty, but they were $5 each. Um, again, I can get them so much more cheaper at another thrift store, but these are gorgeous. I love these type of plates and dessert plates, and these were pretty cool looking too. Again, those were $7. Um, I really loved that white plate set down below and the bowls. Um, here's another cup and saucer for $5. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. It was like transfer word day for me that day. Um, so let's see how much are these. These are almost $4 a piece. Still a little too expensive for me. Um, I thought this was so beautiful. Look at that rose saucer. I really have to cut down on my saucers. <laughs> Um, I, I recently found some new ones, which you'll see in another video, but oh, I just love this plate. So beautiful. Um, but there is only one. I usually like to get them in pairs and this mirror was gorgeous. It wasn't the color, but I thought it was so pretty and it was $50. I ended up passing on it, but there's just a look at all the different things that they have. I always like to look in the picture frame section. I thought this was really pretty. Um, I love the tarnished on it. I think it was like $9. It was too expensive for me. I thought this was so pretty as well. Um, yeah, the price was right. Let's see what else they had. Um, I always love to take a gander at the lamp section. I thought that lamp was pretty good. And this day they had 50% off all furniture and I have been wanting a grandfather clock for so long. And oh, how much was that one? I think it was like $50 or something. I passed on it. I just, I don't have the room for it and I just couldn't do it. So I think that getting artwork 
at thrift stores is really awesome and um and even lamps and lamp shades you can get them for really good prices i thought those gold ones were really pretty i thought this was a really pretty one kind of mercury glass looking but i have too many lamps right now i'm actually going to be getting rid of some because i finally found some that i like i thought this one was so beautiful oh i wish i would have grabbed that but i'm trying to stay away from the gold the bright gold um i recently tarnished a few with rub and buff and I just I don't know I just didn't like how it came out with that bright gold so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them or not but I have enough lamps and yeah I know what kind of style I like now um, so here I'm just showing you what is available it was like $11 for that lamp and I know I've seen them at Target Hobby Lobby for way more than that at least $50 I love this style of lampshade this one was a little bit too big but for $5 it's gorgeous I love that style and so here again I'm just in that antique section and I believe this day it was red tags that were half off and those flower saucers are so cute this was another awesome find it was super heavy and I'm just showing you these pictures again that I went through um, usually what I like to do is fill my card up and then go through each item and see if I want want it or keep it so you'll have to wait till the end and see which items I kept and which items stayed there um, like I said I think it was a red tag that was 50% off and sometimes I do get things if it's something I've been really looking for and know that it will work. Um, so yeah, I think here I'm just showing you the different. This I thought was super cute, but it was $9. I don't know. I just can't. I can't. <laughs> I really, my limit is like $5 in the thrift store. Buy them below unless it's something that's super worth it like this was really cute for seven bucks I thought it was too bright for my style but I still thought it was so cute it would be perfect for spring and that's what I mean you can find a lot of cool stuff at the thrift store this was gorgeous I love this picture again nine dollars was just too much here's a little sneak peek of my cart of me like I said going through each item seeing if I want it or not and that's just what I do I fill it up and you know it kind of helps with the compulsive shopping I still put it in the cart but then whatever I don't want I'll go put back so the first thrift store I went to is one of my favorites it's this little um, church that has a thrift store inside it's probably I don't know 30 by 30 or something like that it's really it's tiny but I love going to this thrift store I find so many gems every time I go and the prices are so cheap so this I was I've been I've had this on my list of things that I wanted to get um, and haven't found it at any other thrift stores and I kind of lost hope in that because these are so popular right now thrifting is like it's trending right now so um it's it's time to shine thrifting is the way to go whether you're have cottage core style antique vintage you know french country boho whatever farmhouse um there's this natural organic new look that is pretty cool um but i am more like the french country cottage type of style as you can see with all the flowers and tea I don't know if you can see my my aunt's little teacup I love it so all right let's get into this um the first thing I saw well really not the first thing but the first thing I noticed was this I was so excited because this is what I've been wanting to find is transferware um whether it's this color or pink um I think there's red browns there's so many pretty colors in the transfer wear collection that i was so excited when i saw this and this is the i don't even know what it's called but it's the star of rock state park 
on the Illinois River. And I just think it's so pretty. It has all these different little scenes on it. Here's the back. It came with a plate cover already. Or not, a, a plate hanger. So you can hang it on the walls. And it was only $2. Like, that is... I feel like it's unheard of these days because it's so popular and I found more of them. I could not believe it. This is Anne Hathaway's cottage. Like this is so cute. And again, it was $2. Yep. $2. And it came with a little plate hanger. Not sure if you can see what it says on the back. Um, Shakespeare. Shakespeare Country, made in England, dishwasher proof. But I just love this scene. It is so beautiful. It is so, so pretty. Um, and <laughs> I could not be any more blessed. I found another one. I just realized it's the same exact one as the other one. Um, again, for $2 and it has a little hanger on the back. So not sure if I really want two. I just grab them and put them as making a pile. Um, so that was fun. All right, the next item. So I'm starting to collect these and I only have like a few right now. Um, this one, I just couldn't pass up. It's not the color I was looking for and it has a little chip. But I thought a DIY project would be fun for this. Um, and it's not old at all. Maybe, I'm not sure when it was made, but it seems pretty new to me. Um, but it was only 50 cents. And I could not pass that up. I thought, I'm gonna keep it this color just for the spring to decorate it for the spring and then see what happens after that. See if I wanna continue to DIY it. Um, We'll see. This other piece, I was really excited. I had already gotten a piece like this because again, this was on my list in the picture and cat picture category. And when I saw this, I thought this was so cute. It's like a two-tone brass um, teapot for two bucks. I couldn't believe it, $2. I've seen these go for way more than that. And I had to snag this, so I'm looking forward to decorating with this. You with some flowers or greenery, something for spring, you cannot go wrong with that. Now I have been, another thing on my list is bedding or quilts, um, specifically floral ones, just like a, to put a throw on my bed. And I had seen this one and it looks just like a little comforter, very, vintagey it looks um i wouldn't say it's antique but it's got this really pretty floral pattern all the colors that i love and some pansies um and this i believe was only three or two dollars i don't i don't know where the tag went but it was super cheap and i thought that would be great just to throw on my bed um because i do get cold at night when we're watching movies snuggling and i I think I'm going to become a lamp hoarder. <laughs> I never really have collected lamps before, never really used them, but now I love to decorate with them. So this one I saw and I just had to have, I mean, look at the lamp base. It is so pretty. I definitely want to antique this, put some rub and buff on it. And it was only $4. So this is definitely a good price. There's no, like where it's from, it's just made in China. But it has a gorgeous shade. I've been trying to look for these shades for my other lamps that don't have shades, but I just, I could not leave this there and I'm definitely going to use this. Um, I've been getting rid of more of my other lamps to just find some like this or gold or clear glass in them. And you'll see what I mean by I'm becoming a lamp hoarder. <laughs> so this next item, I am redoing my room. I want it to be like French, provincial, French country type, very romantic. And there's an idea I have in mind, a DIY that I'm 
trying to do, but I needed lace, like lace balances or tablecloths or sheets. And I found this one that I think is so beautiful. It's just so pretty and dainty, and I think it would work perfectly for my DIY. And the bottoms are scalloped. Um, I only sell one of these, and I believe this one is $2 as well. And at the top, it has this like scalloped overlay. Oh, it's just so beautiful. And there's two of them. Oh, I didn't realize there was two of them. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Time for a tea break. It's afternoon tea time. So there's two of them. So that is so perfect. And it's the same on each side. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I didn't realize there was two. I just thought there was one. So that is even better. So I'm looking for this type of fabric and maybe like a sh another sheer color or a crushed velvety fabric. I'm not exactly sure, but so excited. And this was $2 for the whole pair. So happy about that. Um, these next items are just clothing items. They always have really good sales on their clothing. And I'm still adding to my collection, which right now I'm like, why did I get another sweater? I don't need it, but I I just couldn't pass it up. It's in great condition. It's a black sweater with pockets and a hood. <coughs> and I love those just to throw on in the morning when I'm taking the kids because it gets so cold in the morning. It gets so cold in the morning here. I need to take another sip. My throat is just a little scratchy. My whole household has been sick, except for me and my husband. So I'll be doing anything and everything to not get sick again. Um, another thing I'm looking for are long flowy dresses. I'm um, just for spring and in the summer. And I saw this one there, it was so pretty. It has a tie, you can tie around your waist. Super long and very cottagey. I, it was just perfect for what I'm looking for and for the weather right now it's like I said it's so cold in the mornings and when we go to church I thought this would be just something really cute to wear and this one I believe was four dollars they're always doing sales too so I think I paid maybe three for it and it's an amazing condition there's not a it says hours so just a generic brand but I love this cool fabric it's it's awesome all right now for my next thrift store which is it's called Deseret Industries um I love this thrift store it's huge and the sales are just like this the church thrift store the prices are pretty much the same and I love shopping there um, so those are my two thrift stores I usually go to. I also go to Idaho Youth Ranch and their prices are a little bit high. It's almost like Goodwill, except they have a better like ticket sale or um, tag sale. So their tag sale is like 75% off if it's red or green or whatever the color is. All right, so want to see what I got. So from that thrift store, I found this really cute candelabra and it was only $3. Um, it originally was from probably a booth before um, they were, it says $38 on there. So I'm glad I got it for $3. I think it's so cute. I'm going to add some little, um, what do you call those little crystals that hang down? Maybe even paint it gold. I'm not sure, but that's what I thought when I saw these, because these are so hard to find, especially the ornate ones. They're so hard to find. And when I do find them, they're like so expensive. So I thought this was really cute and I can't wait to DIY this as well. And it looks like probably um, tea light candles would go in here. When I was at this thrift store, my basket was full and it was busy. So every time I saw something, I just put it in the cart and then later on dispersed of what I didn't want and kept what I did. Um, I'm always looking for glass containers just to put stuff in like sugar, flour, I already have containers for that, but maybe like nuts or um, 
flax seed, chia seed. I do all of that for my husband in the morning with his yogurt. And so this was only a dollar. Like I said, I love this place. They sell canisters like this for really cheap. And then I am I found this cute little basket. Well, it's pretty big. Um, this was only two dollars. So I'm starting to collect baskets just because I love using them. I have them all around my house and I'm just starting to organize with them a little bit more and decorate with them as well. So I thought this was a really cool basket. Probably could use it for a fruit basket or I don't know. I'll find a spot to use this because I'm in need of them. And speaking of baskets, I found this really cute, it looks like a picnic basket. It does have a wine holder um, coming out of it. And it was only $2. This one I thought would be perfect to decorate with. Um, I had, am also decorating this wall with a shelf and I wanted to hang stuff on there. I thought this was just a perfect size. Oh, I love it. For $2, you can't beat it. I thought even having like flowers hang out from it would look so cute and maybe like a cute little vintage antique towel would look cute as well. And it was just in great condition, such good condition. And for, I just cannot leave it. I cannot leave it. So I'm really excited to decorate with that. So this next piece, I was really drawn to the bottom, not the top. I definitely want to do a DIY project with this. I will antique more of this part. I don't really like, there's like orange or red tones in it. So I want it to be more vintage. So I think I'm going to spray paint it black and then put some rub and buff on here. And I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this part, but I definitely want to take this part off and I'll show you what I got to maybe replace it. Um, that I thought might look really cute. Okay, so I, ugh, these I fell in love with. They are just darling, precious little plates. And there's a few of them that are the same. Oops. And some that are a little bit different. I think this one's the same. And then this one's a little bit different. As you can see from the other one, this is more of a saucer. So I kind of like that. Um, it is so hard to find teacups and saucers. Usually at thrift stores you can find just the saucers, which you can still use as risers or, you know, put them next to each other. Um, but I recently went to a flea market, which you'll see that in another video, and scored with some teacups. I'm so excited to show you, show you guys that. So I was on the hunt for, um, I actually got these before the teacups, but after I got the teacups, I was then on the hunt for saucers and now I have an, another one. Um, so excited about that. You guys aren't surprised, I'm excited about everything. Okay, so for the um, little, I don't even know, excuse my dog, it's easy. What is this like a planter? Oh gosh, I can't think of it. So for that, I found these vintage looking flowers that I thought would go cute with that if I glued it on. Um, there's just all these pretty like dried vintage flowers and I thought it would just be so pretty on here um, with the gold bottom. That would look so pretty. Um, and it has a bunch of other things in here, like these little gold hearts with more of the dried flowers in them. And I thought even removing this would be cute for Valentine's, these gold hearts. It came with some other stuff that I'm not sure if I'm going to use or not. I don't know. But I thought these were pretty. They're little ornaments. Little angel ornaments. This might be a cute... Hmm. Uh, my daughter has a pink tree for Christmas. That might be cute, like a cute little idea. Okay, so I tell you, I have a lamp issue right now. <laughs> I put myself, no more lamps, but I couldn't pass this one up. It is kind of the same style, I think, as I got a while ago. Um, have I shown you guys that? I'm not sure yet, but this cute little lampshade. I thought I would take this black rim off or if I couldn't take it off, put like another type of trim because I think there's um, glue 
resin underneath, but I love this lip shade. It's like the other one. I like this one. And um, I thought this was just a cute little lamp. And this one was $3. And I'm not sure if it's antique or not, but it doesn't really say, but it is pretty heavy. And it's in good condition. So I thought that was really sweet as well. Maybe to put in the kitchen or something. Um, I thought that would be a cute place to put it, like have a little vignette with that. It's funny because I was just thinking about this the other day, how I wanted to get a new one, maybe a lighter one. And I found one. I have the exact same thing, but it's in a, like a dark gray. And it's so funny that I had just thought about it the day before and it was only a dollar. So I have the same one um, that I'll probably get rid of and use this in its place just to go more with my decor. And you can't really see it anyways, it's on the counter right now. But I thought this was good. So one thing I have been on the hunt for for a while. Do you wanna go outside? No, hold on. Okay, took my little doggy outside, doggies. Okay, so one thing I've been looking for for a while, um, probably since way before back to school, is apples, fake apples. <laughs> look at these. I found a whole bag of them. They look like the Gala Gala apples. And it was only $3 for the whole bag. These are so expensive in the store. I just wanted to hold out until I knew I'd find some in the store. So if you guys have recently seen my um, thrifted versus styled video, you'll see that I um, kind of have redone my bathroom and I was looking for something to put in the middle. I wanted some sort of little tray or something to put like maybe flowers or something else on there, like make a little vignette. And last time I went to this thrift store, I saw this piece and I had put it back. I kind of was like, mm. I had too much of my cart. But then after I left, I was like, I really should have gotten that. And it's a sweet little um, crystal tray. It's a pretty heavy. It has these little feet that are so cute. And just look at that scalloping. Like it is just so pretty, really dainty, and it was only a dollar fifty. So I'm so glad I went back to get it, because um, now I can style my bathroom with it. And these pieces, I always have been passing them up in the thrift stores. I just the prices have been astronomical. Like I've seen them for three nine, not three ninety nine, more like four ninety nine, six ninety nine. And I knew that I can find them for so cheap. So when I went, I saw these. And this one was 75 cents. I know it's not fully copper, but I just love this. It has a little hanger, you can hang it. And I wanna do a wall like that in my kitchen. I used to have a jello one and I don't know where it went. And then I saw this one, that's more of the copper color, a little more newer than the, um, the really older ones. And this one was only $2. And also, again, it has that little thing. So I'm definitely on the hunt for more of these. I think these are so pretty to decorate, especially if you're going for that vintage style. So lately, I've also had on my list these, um, what do you call these, easel, easels, I think? Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, it'd be nice though. Um, I found this gold one for 75 cents, just need to clean it up and probably repaint it. Um, to look more vintagey. Oh, this is so pretty. The legs on this is so, so pretty. For 75 cents, you cannot beat that. Then I found another one, more of the wrought iron fill or metal fill. This one was really pretty as well. I love the, just the elegance of this. And I wanna do the same thing, spray paint it black and put rub and buff. And this one was only a dollar. Um, I will probably, um, Put my let's see if you guys can see but see how i have that book up there it has one of those um it's also an easel but it looks like a cutting board um so i thought maybe putting a book or one of the circle plates circle plates <laughs> one of the plates in there to instead of hang just display i thought this would be really cute um, and i did that with the last one i got all right and this was just so sweet it's just it's very heavy. It looks like it might have some sort of rice or millet in there. I don't know what it is. It's 
like a warmer or a coaster. It was only 50 cents. I presume it is a, like you would put a hot, something hot in here and it'll keep it warm. But just the fabric itself is so pretty just to display somewhere in your kitchen. Very cottagey, vintagey. I love it. Um, these next items, I almost screamed because I thought I've been wanting them and I thought I, I highly doubt I will find them. And I did. And I could not believe it. Is this a brass rocking horse? It's definitely dusty. It needs probably a little bit of cleaning, but it was only $2. How sweet is this? This will be perfect to have out now or for Christmas. I've seen a lot of people decorate them with Christmas and it is just beautiful. Look like someone, you can see the, it's a lot brighter in here. It looks like someone may have painted it or something, but I was so excited when I found that. Definitely want to clean that one up maybe a little bit or just leave it as is. And then I saw a little deer. He is so cute for $1.50. Um, and there's no markings, but he definitely is a metal. He's very heavy as well. So everyone and their maybe grandmother is on the hunt for these. I, it's not what I wanted but I still got them because they were only a dollar each. But I looked on the back and it looks like they've been painted. So anyways, I thought, you know what? They're already black. All I have to do is put rub and buff and voila, you got yourself some brass looking antique candle holders that are so popular right now. They're, anything brass is so popular. And it's so funny because when I would go there shopping, when a thrifting really wasn't in, you could find those all day long and I just never got them. I should have. The last item, I'm, I was excited about when I saw it and it has that vintage feel, kind of like a modern feel as well, but it's this throw blanket and it is just so beautiful with the burnt red and brown color because it's going to be perfect for fall. Even right now, I would put it out, but it is so pretty and it was only $3. I have two more items. So I'm still on the hunt for shams. Um, this one I was thinking for my daughter's room. It is a really pretty like quilted sham and it has bows on it. It is just so sweet as a scallops. And this one was $2. Um, I'm not sure who this is made by. It doesn't really have a tag, but it was in good condition. And this does look vintage. <laughs> I can tell by the, just this alone. It's made in Portugal. So this was really pretty. I thought this would look really pretty in her room. Kind of doing a cottage style in there too, which that's gonna take some time. All right, this might not fit in the, <laughs> but it is this shelf. It definitely was handmade. Um, it was only $8, solid wood. Not sure which type of wood this is, but it has the line to put the plates in. Oh, I was so excited because this was on my list and for $8, you cannot beat that. And it's been a, a while since I've been trying to find that. So that's it from that thrift store. So for the second thrift store, it's from the Idaho Youth Ranch. Um, they were having 75% off red ticket items. And I found this one in the antique section. It is so sweet with that rose and the gold detail. You can see it was $3. So you paid like a dollar for this. I'm not, I'm not thinking about math right now. And so I got this one as well. Same thing. And these two are different. This one is so pretty. This one was just $1 more. It was not on sale, but as I was telling you, I had bought teacups and I was on the hunt for some saucers and I think I had a blue teacup. I'm not sure, but I grabbed it anyways because it was too cute to pass up. And then this one was only $1 and is so sweet. So sweet. So now I have some saucers for teacups and I drink tea every day. Speaking of tea, let's take a sip. Let's take a little break of tea 
I want to know how your Valentine's Day went. It's good. Me and my husband usually don't go on Valentine's Day. It's just so busy and so... But I made reservations for this restaurant I have been wanting to go to for quite some time. It is so gorgeous. I'll put some clips of it right here. Oh, it was so romantic. It was my style. Everything I love about the French country, even the building on the outside. Oh, it was just beautiful. You felt like you were in France or even in New York somewhere. But they had a singer that night. Um, and he was just playing all, all the good songs like Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, um, so many more. And it was just such a blast. The food was amazing. It was beautiful. And I found out that they do um, afternoon tea there. So I cannot wait to go. It's going to be so fun. All right. Cheers. Oh, I like this. Time to So this is just a really fun place. The food was amazing. I don't even rem remember what that salad was called. I got the chicken pasta fettuccine maybe. Oh, and then they had a ballroom or ballrooms connected to it. All the walls were just adored with these beautiful pictures and sconces and oh I just loved everything oh it's just beautiful you could have weddings here every Wednesday they have afternoon tea which we are definitely going to take a look at and this is one of the rooms that they have the afternoon tea in and it's just absolutely gorgeous right up my alley and take a look at this amazing chair oh it's so beautiful I love this place. I can't wait to go back. And we just went back yesterday and date night. Another thing I've been on the hunt for is, and probably everyone as well, gold ornate picture frames. I didn't find any of those, but I thought if I DIY these, they will pretty much look like it. I thought this was such a pretty ornate picture frame. Um, so, so cute. You can put it, this one that I've seen people put them on their refrigerator and th thought that was cute um this is new in package new in the package and it even says ornate so i thought rub and buff spray paint black rub and buff and you're good to go it has a little what do you call this holder thing i don't know uh, stand and so i thought that was good, cute for a dollar um this one is gorgeous it is a teal color it's I'm going definitely going to paint this one, but this was too beautiful to leave there. Um, I definitely will paint this one. It was $4.99, regularly $9.99, probably from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. That's what kind it looks like. And they have those now already painted gold, um, but I just, I don't know. I don't want to do that just yet. This one I thought was super pretty as well very ornate and it was 2.99 not sure if i'll keep it 
the color, but I'll definitely tarnish it up. This one I thought was so pretty and it was like a bundle or put together. I thought this was just so pretty, probably put the kids' pictures in there um, and it was kind of heavy and this one was $5. So all I'm going to do is add rub and buff to it. You can see that it already has some of it, some gold, but I'm just going to add more and I thought that would look so pretty in a gallery wall. Okay, these two items were from the last thrift store that I forgot to um, put in there, desert. But this is a gold tray. This definitely looks vintage. I have not seen anything like this and it was only $4. So this is something I'll probably style in my bedroom for that French provincial look, provincial. I hopefully I'm saying it right. And this one is kind of like the other one. Um, but it's a bigger style. Um, and I thought this was so pretty. Again, for a gallery wall, I can put different pictures in there. And it was only $4. That's funny. This is bigger and it was cheaper than the other one. All right. So that is it for this collective haul. I really am, like I said, I'm really um, curating that cottage French country romantic style in my home and so I've been switching out a lot of things as you guys will see um, I'll be doing a thrifted versus style video so you guys can see how I style these items and probably throw in a few DIYs in there and next up I am going to be filming a Facebook Marketplace haul. I have been finding so many good things on there. So many good things. So definitely you guys have to check out Facebook Marketplace. Um, you can always haggle prices too, and that's the great thing. Or even trade. You can barter. I haven't done that yet, but I am thinking about that. And then I went to a flea market recently with my husband and found some awesome items in there as well. Such great items. Oh, I'm so excited about that one. But yeah, so if you guys are interested in seeing those, be sure to subscribe and click the bell notification so that you will be notified of my next videos and you won't miss those amazing items that I found. Oh, I can't wait to share those with you and style them. If you like these type of videos, definitely like, click that like button below so I'll know um, that you are enjoying this type of content. Leave me a comment, what was your favorite item? I don't know, I'd have to say the plates, but I'm not, <laughs> there's so many things. Um, leave me a comment, share this video with those who love vintage antique items and all of that goodness. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one, bye. <laughs>